Hey everyone. So I've been getting this question, uh, I got a couple times about busy paintings and simple paintings. Kind of like what's going on with that and is it better to have to keep it really simple? Is, you know, is what happens when it gets complicated? I mean, there's all kinds of work out there and, and there's complex work and simple work and which should you do and which is better and all of that. So I thought I would just uh, go into that a little bit because I think it's pretty interesting. Um, when you look out in the world and you go see museums and everything, you've got um, you, you've got paintings and art that that is super super complicated. I mean, you think of like a Persian carpet, you know, all those shapes and everything, and it's a wonder. It's amazing, you know. And then you've got like Japanese brushstroke paintings, or just super minimal Rothko esque paintings, and and um, and those are strong too. And so I I like to think about. I don't think one is better than the other, or that you should be doing a certain kind of work. You really want to do what interests you. But strong work um, has opposites in it, and complexity. Uh, is an amazing thing to have in your work. Now, let me, let me just show you what, what I mean um, and how you can kind of work with these two ideas. Instead of thinking them as, as two different things, you want to think about them kind of together. So let's say we have a picture and we have all kinds of things. This is a super detailed, right? You know, like it's getting very complicated. I can't draw animals and stuff really quick here, so I'm just doing like all kinds of things are really... This is complicated. Like there's a lot in this thing. So this has got a quality to it. You might like it or you might not like it or you're drawn to this kind of work. But you can completely do this kind of work. Um, as I'm going here, I'm just getting more and more all kinds of things going on in this. And what can happen is we get going in our work and and it's like like it's pretty easy to do what I'm doing now, especially after the 50th time. I'm just kind of on autopilot. And this is where things can get, you can make things complicated unintentionally because it's like, oh, I just wasn't really paying attention. I just was listening to the radio and I like making these shapes and I just kind of kept going. So sometimes we end up here and we don't really want to be here. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is interesting. It's just a complicated thing. Now, it's so, it's lovely to have this, but what makes complicated things so cool and powerful and amazing, what, what converts them is when we combine simplicity with complexity. So if I come in now and I take a, a simple, you know, like a, a flat color perhaps, that has a lot of empty space in it. This is space. I'm creating space. There's nothing in this shape here. And guess what? Now we really can enjoy what's happening. Why this looks so good is because I'm applying the opposite of complexity to the complicated picture, right? This is the workaround, or this is a way to think about it. This provides a richness. We go in here and we're like, oh, it feels so good in there because we've just been so busy in there. So there's nothing wrong with just doing this, but think about combining. We want all of it. We want complexity and simplicity. Bring those together so we can enjoy them and they complement each other. It'll make you feel really good and it makes the viewer really experience the complex. 
It's, it's how we know something's complicated is if we have something that's open and spacious next to it. So the question, should it be, should it be complicated or simple? What I say is understand both of those and use both of those to help what it is you want to make, right? Like I now have these two things that are opposites and we're starting to get some power going here. Complexity and simplicity. Mix them together in different, different <laughs> proportions to create powerful art. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, it's how I think about those two, uh, those two opposites. Um, and and it's, it's great because it's easy to go too complicated and it's easy to go too simple. Anyway, this is Nicholas Wilton, Art to Life. If this resonates, uh, let, it, let me know your thoughts on this. This is, this is how I teach it and how I think about it for myself. Let me know in the comments what you think. And um, for those of you who are new here, we have an amazing free artist, um, the Art to Life free artist group. Uh, everyone's welcome. Some really, really cool art being made right now. It's, um, it's really a rabbit hole. It's really cool to see it all. Um, so join. Okay, thanks you guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.